How's it going everyone? This video is going to be over standard deviation projections and combining that with accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. Now if you haven't seen my videos on the topics, I'll go ahead and link those in the description below, and I'd recommend watching those prior to this video. But other than that, let's hop into the PDF before some examples. So a brief review of what accumulation, manipulation, and distribution is, is accumulation is essentially some sort of consolidation, manipulation is a fake breakout, or the false move, and then distribution is the real move in the opposite direction of the manipulation. So looking at a candlestick chart, we have some sort of consolidation or accumulation, manipulation, which is the move or the fake breakout, and then we have our distribution. So zooming in on these candles here, you can see we have accumulation, manipulation, and then distribution. And with projecting this out, we wanna focus on the manipulation. Now, where is the manipulation we're focusing on? We wanna see the leg that made the low before the high. So essentially the breaker formation as well. So from here, we'll take the high to the low and project it out. And those will give us targets for the distribution. So putting it all together, we have accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. And we project this manipulation leg, giving us targets for this distribution. So here we are with our first example. We'll walk through the price action, projecting out the manipulation, as well as a few possible entry. So you can see here, we create equal highs. So let's see what happens next. You can see we start to get this consolidation here. So I'll go ahead and mark that out here. So we get an aggressive move over this buy side liquidity pool. Now, if we want this to be a manipulation, what do we want to see next? We wanna see displacement back into the range and breaking structure or changing the state of delivery. Or if you've seen my box setup, aggressive out and aggressive back into the range. So let's see what happens next. And there we get aggressive displacement down. If we weren't to get this aggressive displacement down, then it's likely to continue higher. So let's go ahead and mark out our manipulation. So here is our manipulation. And if we mark out our change in state of delivery, it would be right there. And our market structure shift would be right here. So now that I have this marked out, how can I combine this with standard deviations? Well, I'm looking to project out the manipulation leg. So I look at the manipulation. Where is the low that made this high? Right here. So I'll go ahead and project from this high to this low. And now I have projection targets. So zooming out a little, the first thing I want to look for is the negative 2 to 2.5 standard deviations, and then the fourth standard deviation. So how would I look to take an entry here? Well, I could enter on the change of the state of delivery or this order block, or look for the fair value gap. Considering they are in the same spot, I'll look to take my entry there, my stop on this high, then my first target will be the negative two standard deviations. So there we get tagged in and we reach lower to that negative two standard deviations. Now, if we're going to continue lower to the fourth standard deviation, I'd like to see price respect these up close candles here, which is an order block. So let's see what happens there. So price is respecting it. We get an extra little sweep there, but you notice how the bodies don't reach over this. Now let's see if we get a continuation lower to this fourth standard deviation. And there you can see we hit the fourth standard deviation. So just to quickly review, we have equal highs here. We have accumulation or consolidation just below these equal highs, an aggressive move out and back into the range, which shifts structure as well as changes the state of delivery. Then we retrace back into the order block as well as the fair value gap here, and then get displacement down to the two to 2.5 standard deviations, a retracement back into up close candles or an order block, before a continuation lower to the negative four standard deviation. I had many requests for this video to combine the box setup with AMD and the projections. So in this example, that is what we are going to be doing. So if you notice here, we are starting to consolidate. And here we just focus on aggressive move out and back into the range. So even if you don't see this as an aggressive move out, we get an aggressive move back in. Now we can go ahead and identify our consolidation. And for the box setup, I use the bodies. So you can see this is where I'd mark out the consolidation. Our manipulation would be 
anything over these bodies here. And then I'm anticipating distribution. Now before we get any further, I want to project out that manipulation leg. So going from the high, where is the low that made the high? So from right here, I can go to this low here. And the reason for that low is we have a green candle that went up, red candle down, then up again. So this is a swing low on a lower time frame. So now that we know this, using the box setup, what I do is grab the highest bodies, extend that over, and that is my entry. Using that as my entry, I want to put my stop on the manipulation high, and then look to target that second standard deviation. Let's go ahead and let this play out. So here we get some more consolidation. Aggressive move up, so that would be the entry there. You can see retesting those previous highs. And then we get our aggressive move down. And hitting our second standard deviation there. So cleaning it up a little, you can see we have accumulation, manipulation, and then we retest these previous highs or the previous high of the accumulation or consolidation before our distribution lower. So watching this play out a little more, we are in our negative two to negative 2.5, which is our retracement or reversal area. So here we do get aggressive down and then back up, but it never took anything, right? No sell side liquidity. There wasn't really any consolidation here. So let's let this continue. Here you can see we start to have some consolidation. We're building lows and highs. So marking out those lows and highs, that is a box. And here we get an aggressive displacement lower. And then we get displacement back into the range. So this is manipulation or a deviation from the range. So marking out our consolidation, we have it right here. And then ideally looking to take an entry at the retest of this deviation from the range right there. And then where can we get a target? Well, we have an aggressive move down here with an imbalance. So if we go ahead and project this manipulation leg out, we have this negative one right here that lines up perfectly with the start of this fair value gap. So we'll go ahead and target that. Now, one thing I look for, if I am not confident in this entry, what I'll look for is a down close candle into this area that then gets closed over, validating it as an order block. And then I can look to take an entry right here, my stop on the order block low and target the same area. So it looks something like this. But either way, you can see how that worked out. We reach into that fair value gap that lines up with the negative one standard deviation. But hopefully this shows you how the box setup can be paired with standard deviation projections as well. In our last example, we are going to take a look at the AMD between sessions. Generally, I like to see Asia accumulate, London manipulate, and then New York distribute. So we are getting near the London session here. What did Asia do? It accumulated or consolidated. So marking out this range here as our consolidation. Let's see what happens as we move into London. So here in London, you notice we get an aggressive move out of this range, sweeping this low. So if this is gonna be manipulation and we wanna see a move to the upside, we wanna see aggressive displacement back into the range. If this is gonna continue lower, we wanna see a retracement before moving lower. Here we get aggressive displacement back into the range. So now what can we do? Well, we have a new low. Where is the high that made the low? Let's project that out. So from this low to this high, we have our projection. So looking at this, what can we see? We look left, right before the negative two standard deviations, we have a failure swing, and then we have this high resting in here. So those are ideally the target for this move. So now that we have our London manipulation, let's go ahead and mark that out. And let's see what happens as we move into New York here. Here you can see, we retest this breaker here. And then we get displacement up here. And now just prior to New York, what do we have? Well, we have a fair value gap here. So if I was going to be looking to take an entry, 
could look for an entry in here, my stop on this low. And then ideally I would be targeting this failure swing here because that would be the low hanging fruit. So let's see how this works out. And there you go, price delivers to the low hanging fruit as well as this old high over here. And just to review what happened, we have Asia accumulation, London manipulation, and then we expect distribution into the New York session, which delivers to these old highs, as well as hitting the negative 2 and negative 2.5 standard deviations off of the London manipulation. I hope you found this video insightful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.